There's history, heritage and more here at Malshine. To date, 180 Veyrons have been sold out of a planned total of 300. And while the Veyrons parts may not be manufactured here, each car is assembled within these grounds inside a shiny steel edifice. The Veyron is put together here at the Atelier. Atelier means artist studio in French and here engineers are more like artists working on the car, putting it together. We'll take you through the different stages in the manufacturing, in the assembly of a Veyron. This is how a Veyron starts life, as a carbon fibre tub. The tub is super strong, the A pillar, the B pillar are all structural members and it weighs 110 kilos. To the tub are mounted different parts, the front assembly, the frame and then it goes for painting after which the engine is mounted. Now the heart of every Veyron is the engine and it is a massive unit. There are four banks of cylinders, it's a W16 engine. That means two Volkswagen V8 engines joined together at the hip. It uses all of Volkswagen's exotic materials and technology, 64 valves, direct injection, direct petrol injection, dry sump lubrication. It takes two engineers a week to build the engine. It uses 3,700 parts. An engine this massive develops tons of heat. That's why there are 12 radiators on the car. In fact, the combustion energy, the actual combustion energy works up to 3,000 PS. 1,000 PS is lost through the exhaust, 1,000 PS through the cooling system, and 1,000 PS goes to all four wheels. After they're done with the engine, then the carbon fiber frame is built around the engine and then all the ancillaries are mounted. These are the double wishbone suspension, the titanium shock absorbers. These are the actuators for the rear wing, hydraulic actuators. At the rear, this is the electronic control unit. This is the carbon fiber dampers. Now these are painted, but they're actually carbon fiber. Once the engine work is done, then the gearbox comes in. The gearbox sits here. This is the titanium flywheel. The gearbox is made by Ricardo. It's a seven-speed DSG twin-clutch automatic. The gearbox is mounted, and then the whole unit is married to the monocoque. Once the engine and gearbox are done, it's mated to the monocoque. 12 titanium bolts join the two parts together. And this is one of the bolts. It's actually very, very light. It's lighter than alloy. It is stronger than steel and it is very expensive. It costs 30 euros for one. That's almost 2,000 rupees. Titanium is actually quite brittle. So if a bolt has to be loosened, they throw this away. These massive 16-inch discs are carbon ceramic. They're made by AP Racing. They're mated to titanium eight piston calipers. They give the car immense top and power. These are a set of Veyron tyres. They are the largest tyres in the world. They're made by Michelin and they're the only tyres in the world rated to over 400 kmph. They last for between 5,000 and 15,000 kilometres. And Bugatti recommends when you change the tyres, you also change the wheels. An entire set costs 55,000 euros. And if you do a top speed run, these tyres will last for 15 minutes. That's it. Once the mechanicals are done, then the body panels are put on. After that, the car goes on a rolling road for 50 kilometers. After the rolling road test, the entire car is coated in a clear film and it's sent for a 500 kilometer road test, which includes three laps on a race circuit. Once the car is back from the road test, the clear film is removed, the car is washed at the back, it's washed and cleaned, and then it comes to this lighting room. Here, paint finishers look at every single aspect of the paint. They buff and polish the car for two days and ensure that the paint finish is perfect. Bugatti claims that the paint finish on the Veyron is the best of any car in the world. You have to admire Volkswagen for having the guts to conceive of such a car in the first place and then committing the engineering nuance and resources into building a truly fabulous road-going machine. As a technical creation, as an engineering masterpiece, this possibly will never be bettered. Never be bettered until cars can possibly fly. It is a dramatic machine, comfortable, refined, but when you go for it, it is even more dramatic than a jet plane taking off. 
it is a million dollar car and if any car was worthy of that tag this is it i'm going to take one last go in the car